Hello, Fresh! It's time. The exciting conclusion of our three-part series where we order food and then eat it. You can tell how excited I am because I'm just like sitting here on my phone. Why'd you start? <laughs> Hello! Mm -hmm. Today, mm -hmm. we are going to be continuing our infamous something part series because we're hopefully going to find more of these meal kits. Spoiler, it's meal kits. <laughs> Today we are going to be doing Hello Fresh. So, Hello Fresh. We've just heard of it, and I know that there are tons of people in the states, like YouTubers and stuff, that have done this one. I want to see what it's like in Canada, and if it's comparable to good food, or if it's comparable to Chef's Plate, or if it's just something terrible on itself. I'm going to just go on to Facebook, search Hello Fresh. To find the coupon. Well, because I'm sure one of my friends at some point has posted. I gave Hello Fresh, and here's my code. <laughs> While you try to find that, I'm gonna scroll through the general setup. So, same idea as any other meal kit that we've used. You start by setting a preference for your food choice. So we'll go with meat and veggies. Number of people, two recipes per week, three. Keep it consistent with the other ones. They do have an option for four. Price per serving, eleven forty nine. At six servings, is already like a seventy. Like this, this will be the most expensive one by far. Either that or equal to good food, because good food was also expensive. Six free meals plus free shipping. Okay, so we got three deliveries and free shipping on your first box. What? Okay, so it's the same code that you found on Facebook page. As soon as we can get one is Saturday, November 21st. So even a week from now, it would be two wow. weeks before we could get a box. It's fine. It's frustrating, but that's fine. We're reducing food waste. We source only the right amount of ingredients. Sounds like no leftovers to me. No, you're kidding. I'm not going to include this, obviously, because it's the MasterCard, but he has it memorized? How do you have your credit card memorized? I Oh, he failed, so it's fine. Haha! -ha! No, I, I just I typed the wrong number at one point. Damn it! That's so weird. If anybody watched our last video, well, I don't know when this is coming out, because these ones are hard to edit. <laughs> but that explains why I have this goatee currently. I'm not just going to have a goatee from now yes, on. The goatee and the candle should give away what day it is. <laughs> I want to like set up the back of the shot with all the stuff that we've done yeah, in the so background our, eventually. Our I think that'd be fine. and our hacks candles. Yeah, like because right now we just have them kind of sitting there. But what else have we done? I'll just put a bunch Those of pumpkins. nail peelies on the wall. <laughs> Those pumpkins we carved. Got yeah, they're still the here. <laughs> And they're just going to be sitting rotted in the background. I do believe this is a very comparable price to uh, Good Food. Good Food was definitely worth the amount you paid for it. Chef's Plate wasn't quite as good in the sense that the meals weren't as exciting and you didn't get as much. So I think that Good Food really did make up the difference between the prices. Yeah, yeah but keep in mind that Chef's Plate was only the cheapest because we got a good deal on it. No, it's like $50 with shipping and stuff. All right, let's order. Woo! See my meals. So they chose for us sizzling pork fajitas oh, with good. roasted peppers, lime crema, and salsa fresca. And sheet pan roast chicken. I literally make this all the time. Yeah, that is yeah. just a roasted chicken breast and roasted vegetables. I do not need a meal kit to send me that. Yeah. We're gonna remove that one immediately. Lamb meatball burger. Those look good. Yeah. Butternut squash stuffed pasta. Oh my god, that says amazing. Sides. Side of garlic bread. For $4.99, we can get garlic bread. I'm not ordering on Uber Eats, like I'm trying to get food for the week. <laughs> I think that's a good idea though. Because I think a lot of people would add stuff to their order, like little things, as yeah. opposed to adding a full other, like a expensive meal. Well, Good Food had breakfast options, and I was thinking that when we were ordering it, I would throw in for the week this smoothie kit and this like breakfast wrap thing, yeah. just to have more things to cook in. Like week. change it to a four whatever meal, and then add like a brunch option mm -hmm. in there every so often. This is not sponsored by Good Food, even though this video is about HelloFresh. It's not sponsored by them either. It's not sponsored by anyone. We are definitely biasedly going into this with a good opinion of Good Food. <laughs> I think that we should get sizzling pork They fajitas. sound really good. Sure. We have to do a quick meal to keep our True. experiment the same. But honestly, their quick meals aren't that exciting. Do we have to? I don't know. I think it would be the only way to do it fair. I really want that butternut squash stuff. Why don't pasta. we? Why don't we switch it up? But maybe this is the one. <laughs> when will we learn to close the door when we film? I'm just gonna make an executive decision, and we're not gonna order our quick meals. You sure? We're gonna order a meal that I believe is a quick meal, and make Steven cook that one. I don't want to miss out on the butternut squash ravioli. Add it. When I looked at the quick recipe just now, it contained chopped onion and already cooked beef. But like, this butternut squash pasta comes with an already made ravioli. It's not like you're making ravioli from scratch. 
This to me is a quick rest. Okay. <laughs> Cut the stupid having a meltdown. Ah. So our three meals are sizzling pork fajitas, lamb meatball burgers, and butternut squash stuffed pasta. Yeah. And I apologize to our loyal viewers who were expecting us to order another quick recipe, but we didn't want to. They don't sound good. We will be waiting a couple of weeks for this box to arrive, and so my hair will be down to here by the time we film again. Um, but I might shave it. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, and Steven won't have a goatee anymore. No. No, so, I will not. And we will have a microphone, and there will hopefully not be construction sounds. <laughs> oh, there'll still be construction sounds. Forever. Forever there'll be construction outside. All right, we will see you guys in a minute. Yeah. Yeah! Who's ready? Me! Who's ready? Uh, me! Who wants the food? Me! Who's Hello Fresh? Yeah! Uh, it oh. It's almost 11 p.m. and we are pumped to start filming something! Yeah! Hello Fresh! Yeah, our box has arrived, you know. You were there. The box is here. So we ordered Hello Fresh. It came this morning, apparently. Ooh. So, right off the bat, this is the exact same box that yep. the other two came in. Yep. And this is the exact same cardboard packaging thing inside the box. They've all had the exact same box. Stanley will be so excited. Boom. Ooh. What's this? A little something for you. Oh. Why? Okay, they gave us a goddamn chocolate bar. Oh, wow. And can I tell you that I saw an ad for this chocolate bar the other day and was like, I want that so bad. We're gonna do an un... Wrapping. It's got Reese's Pieces and peanuts in Hershey's chocolate. Wow. It's like it's like the last thing you would want and the first thing I would want. Oh my God. I've always liked Reese's Am I dreaming? Did this actually happen? It's so good. I literally wanted this so bad. I can't believe this came in the box. Hello friends, you're getting brownie points. Almost literally. It's chocolate. <laughs> we got our first bag, which is butternut squash stuffed pasta. Lamb meatball burgers. Woo. Oh right there, lamb. And sizzling pork fajitas. I had forgotten oh, about that. Oh yeah. Should we do that? Sure. It seems as if everybody's doing okay at the packaging. Everything seems cold. This is almost identical to the chef's plate box. I mean, it must be that there's a freezer company that does this kind True. of box. True. The recipes are landscape, whereas every other company has been portrait. So, I mean, I don't know. Throw it to the trash. Eh. Stanley, want a piece of box? A pizza box? Piece of box. Oh. So we're going to make sizzling fork fajitas. <laughs> <laughs> Sizzling pork fajitas. Pork sirloin. Strips. They are strips. They give you a little recipe card. And they're inviting you to the fresh fam. Oh, ooh. Tortillas. Okay, their packaging is cute though. Gay Lee sour cream. I mean, their sour cream is gay, so one point. One onion, one red pepper, two Roma tomatoes, one that is much softer than the other one. Kind of squishy. The produce does not seem hello fresh. One lime and chipotle chili powder and Mexican seasoning. Roast veggies, core then cut pepper, half peel, cut the onion, toss peppers, half the onion, half the Mexican season, a tablespoon of oil, and a eight teaspoon of chipotle powder. Note, reference the heat guide. How oh. hot do we want it? It's I like spicy, spicy and it's I think spicy. that they're probably not going to do it actually spicy, so. This is made for white people. Spicy is probably not that spicy. I hope I'm right. I am just noticing right now, this is definitely back to chef's plate sizes, which is very upsetting because the price point is, is good food. Like this is not a lot of food in front of us. But who knows, maybe it goes far. Tell you the benefit to meal kits. It's 11 p.m. and I just worked for 11 hours today and I'm excited to come home and cook. Yeah, cause it's something new and something that you weren't really expecting. At first I was really upset about the fact like it wasn't just like a huge selection of meals that you could choose from. I think that that's actually kind of a benefit in some ways too because having less choice for me is a benefit because I am indecisive and I get to try things that I probably wouldn't have necessarily made myself. I don't think I've ever had pork fajitas. Something that I think sells these meal kits to people is the fact that the food is seasoned in the end because people yeah. don't season their food. Okay, so we're gonna go with spicy. So that's half of a teaspoon of chipotle powder. My eyes! The onions. They're burning. And half of the Mexican seasoning. Can I have a half teaspoon, please? I think this is the first time that any of them have used measurements of the little packet. Yeah, and usually it's like half the packet, then half of what's left. That one was really convoluted <laughs> and I was not happy with yeah, that. Oh my god, you were so but confused. Use half the spice package. Use half the remaining spice package. Then use half the remaining spice package. And Stephen was like, three that's three halves. What, what? Okay, tablespoon of oil. Oh, it smells good. Mm. Shiny or dull? Oh, I don't know. 
I always do doll. Those are shiny reflect teeth. Yeah, do you want that? Is that what you want? Feeling so shiny. Feeling so shiny. Bet you a doll in the oven. Make salsa fresca. A wild onion appeared. Go, Pikachu. Pikachu, use Dunner Smash. I'm having a blast. <laughs> Sharp. Sharp. You work in a kitchen or something? You work in your mom? Hi, hey, MJ. Now it's time to kick your hiney. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> that oh, movie could have so been so good. good and then they put that song in it. <laughs> Didn't ruin it completely. Oh, it did. I could have given the pig a song and said they did that. Pig doesn't even talk. Yeah, it could have had a song. <laughs> Crabs don't have to talk. No, but he's like a god crab. He's a god crab? Yeah, he's like an ocean god. I'm really glad I've never had god crabs. And god gives you crabs. Ah! Combine tomatoes, chopped onions, two tablespoons of lime juice, and two tablespoons of oil in a small bowl. Season with salt. Is there anything I can do, or should, should I just stand here? Still? Just uh, stand there and look pretty. So zesty. Taking the pith out of it. There is no cheese in this meal. <gasps> Blasphemy. I would like my fajitas to have cheese. Oh, it's not parsley, it's cilantro. Oh, duh. Today, somebody at work said to me, people who celebrate Christmas as of November 1st, you're now celebrating Christmas for two months. Two months is one sixth of the year. If you do that every year, you've spent one sixth of your life celebrating Christmas. And what a wonderful life it is. I think that I put too much onion in this. Do we have any tomatoes? Oh, we do have tomatoes. I put some yeah, tomatoes in this. Yeah, this looks like too much uh, onion for what it's supposed to be. The um, yellow ones are the best ones, by the way. Tomatoes? Yeah, I had a few there. They're very fresh. Hello, fresh. Salsa fresh. Except these are our own tomatoes we're adding because <laughs> their tomatoes sucked. They were not fresh tomatoes. You want to put the name fresh in your company name and then give me sh produce. Yeah. Also, it's so much prettier now. Yeah. Look at how much color is in our tomatoes versus their tomatoes. Combine sour cream, cilantro, and lime zest into a small bowl. You don't even like cilantro. I like it in this kind of stuff. Toss together pork and remaining Mexican season in a medium bowl. Mexican season. Mexican seasoning in a medium bowl. <laughs> season with salt and pepper. I'm really glad the camera is like too high to see this because it looks like I'm just playing with brains down here. Veggies are out. Tortillas. Tortillas are going in. Let's add our pork to the pan. How are you doing? Has this video gone on too long? Steven, take a mental health break. <laughs> Meanwhile, Stanley is down there like this. And just strain the liquid out of the salsa because it was very wet. What? What? That what? wasn't an oven. Yeah. Do I look like I voted for Trump? Do I look like I want a recount in Georgia? <laughs> okay, so okay, there's, there's three six. tortillas. I thought there was gonna be five and I was gonna be furious, but there's six. <laughs> Which is, is a decent amount. Pork, veggies, and top with salsa and a dollop of whipped cream. Of whipped cream. Of salsa, whatever. No. I don't know. I'm. I. Nah. Lime cilantro yeah. something. Crema. I mean, this is a decent portion for two people. It's more pork than it looked like. But also, I'll say that the pork doesn't look very appetizing. Well, I always find fajita meat looks like a generic color. <laughs> Somebody wants porkies. <laughs> look at him though. He's just like... <laughs> He's so cute. I'm excited for these veggies. Mm -hmm, they look good. Ready? Yeah. I'm excited. They look good. Look good. I can show you one. Ooh, pink. Pink. Mm-hmm. 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 The pork is dry. The pork is okay. There is no reason as to why I would choose pork in this dish. If I was to be making old El Paso fajitas, yes, these would be better. But like, mm -hmm. I don't think that there's much going for them to be like, wow, fajitas! Yeah. I'm not gonna take it too hard that these ones mm. were not the greatest. Well, this was kind of like one of the like family friendly kind of recipes, so it's good we tried one. This is the dish that we weren't as excited about. The other two dishes I was really excited about. Yeah, so. they should have just been one more thing in it that was like different. It needs corn. I just want like one thing to be like, yeah. you wouldn't make this yourself. It's like very basic. Anyway, see you next time. <laughs> mm, bye. Ah, day two. He almost hit me right in the face with that. Woo! Large bowl. Yeah! It's what we're missing. Woo! Uh, what are we making today, Steven? We are making lamb burgers. Lamb burger. Lamb burger. Lamb burger. Lamb meatball burgers with tomato spring salad. It's winter. Yeah, what? Not spring salad. Get that. We need that. <laughs> We also need one more. Oh. Lamb. I do not like lamb. I do not like cheese? lamb, I am. I do not like lamb in a boat. I do not like lamb in a goat. <laughs> like a turducken. But yeah, like, but lamb goat. Lamb goatin. <laughs> Lean. Round. Lamb. Some of the mixed greens are rotten. Are they? Yeah. I don't know if it'll focus, but like, there's some there that are like soft and wet. 
Just gonna point out that that's the second thing that we've gotten so far that has had like not yeah. great. Yeah, the Roma tomatoes yesterday weren't good. Yeah. This is a crappy volume of cheese. Step one, prep and make patties. <laughs> Mine was more of a Squidward. I'm really excited for this meal, by the way. Combine Anyone? lamb, garlic, Italian seasoning, Italian breadcrumbs, salt, and pepper in a large bowl. Maybe All lamb is, yeah. When are you gonna put breadcrumbs in the salad? Maybe. Now flatten them into a little patty. Lightly press a thumbprint into each patty, why? I don't know. Remember Lamb Wait. Chop, the puppet? We're eating them. <laughs> thumbprint. Do not push all the way through. Do not make meat donuts. We've not added oil yet. Oh, we need I'm just gonna oil. stand here and hold this meat. Where's the oil? Just gonna stand here and hold this meat. Pan fry until golden brown, two to three minutes per side. Do you wanna get B-roll of these sizzling? Oh, sure. I'll watch you sizzle your meat. Feel my sizzling meat on this. Oh, what is that? The tomatoes are of average quality. Some of them are a little wrinkly and going bad. The other ones have had flawless produce. Yeah. I don't think we had something we had to throw out. This salad is just tomatoes, dressing, and greens. There's mm -hmm. no other ingredients. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's it. And the dressing is vinegar, sugar, and oil. Balsam. They're supposed to look golden brown, so you're correct. I gotta say, this recipe has very few dishes. Yeah. Okay, salad is made. The burgers are coming off of the pan and going onto a sheet to go in the oven. And I think we have to top the burgers now with sauce and cheese, which sounds great. How much sauce do you want? I would think that you just want like a decent amount of it. You can't see it, but we're topping the burgers with cheese. It's not a cooking show. It's a show about cooking. It's a difference. That's a decent amount of cheese for a burger. You just really like cheese. I guess it's like the perfect amount. Still a little pissed about it. Bake at done. the bottom of the oven until patties are cooked through and cheese is melted. Six to eight minutes. So those get toasted for five to six minutes on the middle of the oven, which conveniently is empty. So why don't you just put them on the middle of the oven? They don't butter them or anything? Yeah. Okay. Now you're on the opposite angle that you were before because I didn't set the camera properly. You're welcome. So. Yeah, I wouldn't blame HelloFresh for not being quick with this one because I think that it's just our oven. Hopefully we're moving! Oh my god, I can't wait to do a house tour. Oh, I'm gonna video. cry like a baby when we move out of this place. We've been here since the second year we were dating. Eight, Eight years? years? But you know, our YouTube is so famous and popular that it's making us tons of money. Oh, is that what? Mm, okay. Burgers. Bow down. Bow down! All right, we're gonna try them! They look cute. Are they gonna hold up to the Japanese umami burgers from Chef Plate? I don't know. Think. It's pretty good. No, not like blowing me away. Mm -mm. Does it taste like a meatball burger? Yeah, I changed my mind on the bun entirely. It's too much bun. I think it's good. But yeah, like it's not blowing me away. I wouldn't make a lamb burger for myself. So I mean like this was exciting because of that, but I don't know if it's actually because of the quality of the meal. The salad's good. The dressing is good because we use spicy olive oil. Although I also do like the balsamic and the tomatoes taste really sweet. But I was the most excited about the meal we haven't made yet. Steven will probably make that tomorrow. See you tomorrow. So this one is supposed to be a 30 minute meal, but we're pretty sure that this one will be the only one that we could possibly do in 20 minutes. So we're gonna count it as a 20 minute meal. So I'm going to attempt to make a 30 minute meal in 20 minutes. Couldn't do the 20 minutes, so I don't know why I would think I'd be able to do this. Oh well, here we go. We're making pasta, so I'm starting some water. Ravioli, meal kit. 10 cups of water in a pot, cover and boil. Stanley is nuts right now. I just fed him, so he's got the zoomies. Zest lemon, cut into wedges, peel, mince, or grate the shallot, and then the garlic. So tomatoes, and some spinach, pesto, parmesan, shallot, garlic, pine nuts. Ooh, fancy. First off, just noticing the produce is actually pretty good in this one. Woo, breaking stuff. I'm breaking dishes up in here all night. Uh -huh. Okay, got a bunch of lemons. Garlic. The tomatoes are a little squishy still. They're not terrible this time, but it's still upsetting. Ah, my eyes are burning. Toast pine nuts. When hot, add pine nuts to dry pan. Okay, I guess we just wait. Well, this might be my downfall. Okay, the pasta is now boiling, so I can put it in. And toasting the pine nuts. Okay. Reserving half a cup of pasta water. We have pasta. Next. Start sauce. Okay. I was a little overexcited by saying that I would be able to finish this by then, but I don't think I'm that far off. It's like, I'm almost done. I just have to finish making the sauce, which shouldn't take too long. Add tomato and garlic. 
Okay, so two tablespoons of butter is approximately that. A little brick there. I think that's about two tablespoons of butter. It might be a little bit more. We'll cut off a little bit. Add basil pesta and pas pe pe pesto. And pasta water. Season with salt and pepper. Where's the spinach go in? Add ravioli spinach, remove from heat, and stir it together until the spinach wilts. One minute. Oh, okay. I think I put a little too much pasta water in it, so I think I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit longer. So it's good that Chris isn't here yet. Getting my lemon zest ready. Okay, I think we're good now. I think I did it. So now we're gonna add, add ravioli. They all got stuck to each other. No one told me to remove them. They still just set aside. Now they're all covered in each other. And then spinach. Lemon. Half the Parmesan and butter. I think it also said remove from heat. Yep. Okay. Half of the Parmesan. Hey, I did pretty good. Almost 20 minutes. Or almost, sorry, um, 30 minutes. So not quite as good, but definitely the exact same time that it says on the thing. So that's good. It's the first time I've done it correctly. So, hey. Hi. Hello. I'm all the way home. Is dinner ready? Yes, I'm putting it into the bowls as we speak. This is the first meal kit in which you've had the meal ready. This is the first successful meal kit to do a quick meal, and this wasn't a quick meal. Oh my god, the hallway smells amazing. Ooh, look, Ooh, at, look that. at that. He is, he is talking, talking to me on the, to phone. Me on the phone. Filming, Filming B-roll and, and cooking. cooking. And look at damn fine while he done it. Aww. I apologize if the audio is weird right now. It smells so good in here. Ooh, oh, your hair looks oh, amazing. Oh no. Honey, this is what we're going with. This looks so fing good. Have you shown them yet? Oh my god, Steven. What are those? Pine nuts? Yeah. Wow. Mmm. Fancy Toasty. and expensive. Okay, ready? Yep. Clink. Clink. Mmm. That's really good. So, what is our rating for HelloFresh? We have to start with savvy, which is how good does it look? Savvy? How good yeah. is it? The visual of the meals. Were they Instagram worthy? This one, yes. The last two, no. Actually, this, this one's one was really pretty. I would give them like a two out of five on that. Yeah. And especially because I feel like savvy also kind of means like, are they cool, interesting things? And they were not. Quick. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, these are much faster than any of the other meal kits so far. This one was a five out of five for quick. I agree. Ease, again, yes, super easy. All the recipes, I don't know about this one. This one was easier than the other two. Yeah. Although the sauce was a little more complex, but like, like, by complex, I mean you had to cook some onions. I would say five out of five for easy. For easy, yes. And then for less, was this cheaper than our other meal kits? This was the most expensive so far, wasn't yeah. it? The fact that it was more expensive and I was unimpressed with the recipe choices and the recipes. I'm gonna say this is a one out of five for me. I'd agree. I'm kind of upset with this meal kit. I don't think that it's worth the money mm -hmm. that it costs. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they gave me a free chocolate bar, but like... Ooh, that was good though. <laughs> but are they trying to buy my love? Yes. Would we do it again? No. I wouldn't do this one again. Of the three we've tried, this was my least favorite. These are recipes I could have cooked for cheaper. And I, uh, yeah, and they weren't very impressive to me. Yeah. So, unfortunately, HelloFresh is not a great rating for me. HelloFresh, goodbye, fresh. Also, their <laughs> name is, <laughs> their name is HelloFresh. And it is the only one of our meal kits we've had that has not had fully fresh produce. Mm -hmm, that's true. That's really upsetting that's because HelloFresh is like marketed to be about fresh food. Yeah. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you like this review, leave a comment down below, a review. And we are hoping to keep doing this. There are more meal kits out there, specifically ones that have been done by big box retailers and they have their own meal kit service, so. I'm sure there's more, we haven't tried. So thank you for watching, like this video if you liked it. Subscribe. And follow me on Instagram, not Steven. Oh. This time just me. But what about me? At the real one, at the real one. Okay, follow him too. All right, well, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Oh. <laughs> oh no.